everyone, it's Di here from Di's Den and this week I'd like to show you how I made this little box. It's a lovely little gift box. I'm going to do it in some retired product again because you, as I told you before I'm trying to use up some of my older things. So we're going to make this box. I'm only going to put one hole in here for my ribbon this time, not two, but it can do it either or. And it, when it opens up, it's actually a really nice size inside. You can put some chocolates in there or, you know, a nice gift voucher with some inspirational saying or money or whatever. Or, you know, this would be great for, like, your workmates. You can give to them with your Christmas present, you know, with some chocolates, Christmas chocolates in there. So in Christmas paper so it would look absolutely gorgeous so this is the, what we're going to be made, making and I'm using some as I said retired products um, papers because I need to use them all up so I'll just pop that on one side and I'll show you exactly what we're going to make, do now I've actually made my flowers and they come from the flowers of friendship um, stamp set or bundle which comes with this beautiful punch, which punches out all these these leaves and flowers down here. So I'm going. I've cut it, um, punched them all out and made them up there. But I will show you what I how I did that. Um, and we're going to be punching these two out. And we've got thank you for everything on there as well. So this is all we need. And so we need a piece of card that measures ten and one eighth by six and three quarters. You need two pieces of designer series paper. Now, if you've got directional paper, you make, need to make sure that you've got your direction the right way. Otherwise, it doesn't really matter. So, we need two pieces that measure two and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. So, if our design needs to be along the one and seven eighths way if it's directional. And two pieces that measure two and seven eighths by five eighths of an inch. And then I have my little tag here that I made. Um, that came out of a piece of oh, dear me, piece of card that measured three inches by one inch, so that I could cut off the edges. So I cut one edge, stamped it, and I didn't bring any over, so I can show you how to do that. And then I measured it up to the other edge, cut it off, and then I punched it out on the second side. So. Let's pop them on the one side. Let's pop all our designer series paper on one side, which is not much of anything. And we'll bring in our main card. And we're going to score this on the long side. Now I need my piece of paper here, so let me see what I've got. Let me bring it over here so I can read this. On the long side, I'm going to score this at three quarters of an inch. one and a half inches, three and a half inches, six and five eighths of an inch, eight and five eighths of an inch, and nine and three eighths of an inch. So we're then going to turn it so the short side and we're going to score this at one and seven eighths of an inch and four and seven eighths of an inch. We're now going to turn it back to our short side and we're going to make a mark at the four and one eighth mark, four and one eighth, four and a quarter mark, sorry, here and the and five and seven eighths of an inch there. I'm going to turn it all the way around the opposite way and we're going to do the same again. Four and one quarter and five and seven eighths of an inch. Now I didn't bring my ruler over so I'm going to just have to quickly go and get my ruler. So give me a sec. While I was there, I just picked up a few scraps so I could show you exactly what I did with the other, with our stamping. Okay, let's pull my sleeves up. 
Now from this mark that we made up here, we're going to come down to the first score line and we're going to, oh, I've got that up the wrong way, make a line across. So we're going to score across on those angles there, like so. And we're going to turn that around and we're going to do exactly the same again on the other side. Now if you follow me on my Facebook group, you will actually find in the written tutorial, you'll see a diagram of how this looks. So that's what we've got now. So we've got these extra two lines and they're on an angle like so. So now what we're going to do is we are actually going to cut away the pieces we don't need, which are this piece here, this rectangle on both sides, on, on all four sides, so I should say on all four, four sides. So oh, I'm very disorganised today, I didn't even bring my rubbish bin over. project to do too so if you were doing this for like your workmates or something and you've got quite a few of them it wouldn't take you long to to whip these up and I think that's the best thing when you're doing something in in a mass amount I know when I was working full-time the girls that I worked with and there was only nine of us all, all in all I used to make them for the make things for the girls and they all love them. So now we've cut all that out, we're going to just use our corner rounder to round the corners on these longer pieces. Now this is optional, but I just think that it finishes it off. Okay, so once we've done that, now we can actually fold and burnish all our score lines. Okay, we have all our score lines all burnished now and so we're actually going to add our paper because it is actually easier to do this while it's laying flat. So I've got two pieces that go this way and as I say if you had directional paper you need to turn this around afterwards so that your direction is the same on both sides. Oops. My pin is really hard, so I'll just move that over and we're going to, this is very old paper this one, but I think it's just quite pretty and, uh, oops, I'm sort of falling apart here, so I'm just going to turn this around because I know that this, my paper is not directional, well it is directional, but I have this direction the same way on both pieces, so. Use the sound in the background, that's my heater going, as it's quite chilly in this room today. <coughs> so that's those two. So if you, as I say, if your paper was directional with, you know, something really pretty on it, you know, like flowers or something like that, then you would turn it around. Let's see if that goes better that way. 
Yep. So let's turn that over. Oh my goodness, my glue doesn't want to come out today. It's just so chilly today that it just doesn't want to work. It's like people. With everybody in lockdown at the moment here in South Australia, when I'm when I'm actually filming this, <clears throat> which is the believe it or not is the middle of of well second half of July, so but this won't go live till August. But never mind. There we go. So we've done that, and we're now going to just bring these two together like this, and with so that we can actually pop our hole in the middle. Now I've got my hole punch here. So I'm going to punch my hole into the middle just so that it's done ready. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pop some glue on these pieces that come in on the sides. So we're going to pop some glue on this piece here and bring that up on a nice angle to bring it in. Because it's cold today, the glue takes a bit longer to dry. Once we've done one, we can do all th three others one at a time. Now my glue is starting to work properly because it's starting to warm up in here now. This is how quick this project goes together. It's very, very quick and easy. So, and I love the fact that it's it is a nice pro little project. got our little box made now. Oops, I'm sorry I'm out of the sort of green there a bit. So let me just pop the pin in my glue, which is not going in very well. And these ones should have been folded the opposite way. So when that comes down, it's like so. So let us put our ribbon through this. Now I've got some ribbon here. Um, can I, oh yes, I've still got my little tiki tool there. At this stage it doesn't matter whether you've got a front and a back, so it's when you, oops, I need a little bit more ribbon. Maybe a little bit more ribbon through there, that's better. This ribbon was from last Christmas, so so it will actually be retired as well. Uh, but it still looks really gorgeous, and that's our cup thing, our box, all with a ribbon on it. I'm not a good bow, ribbon to bow tie. So now I'm going to pop. What I'll do is I'll actually just show you how I stamp these. I have a piece of scrap here which I will actually stamp my oops, flowers. Now I've actually put these on my block in a way that I know that they will actually um, fit through here. So what I did is I actually made myself a little template by cutting out a piece and then putting my flowers on in the same direction as what the stamped image is. Oops. And then I just brought in my, um, I used like poppy parade for this in light and dark because I just wanted a little bit of contrast so 
So I did my light on this one here, on this piece, and the dark on the middle piece here, like so. I wasn't too worried about whether I went over the middle because, and I also did one little pearl in the dark. I've only got three little pearls left on this sheet, so we'll pop one in there. And then I used my light just to finish it off around the edge so that it gave a contrast. So. And then I used my little squidgy pad here just to give them some dimension by rubbing up the leaves, or petals actually, not leaves, and bringing it into the centre, which I did on all, all of them. This one's not moving very well at the present time. A little bit of glue in the middle of the flower, like so. And pop the other one on top and I put it off center to the one that was originally there. Squish that down again making sure that it was nice and then I popped my little pearl that I'd colored if I can pick him up off the side. I'm not really having much luck here am I? There. I popped him in the middle. For my saying, my little tag, I used a piece of card that is one inch wide and I just stamped my image. I'll just not bring that ink pad in. I just, oops, sorry, I didn't just stamp it. I actually popped this into here first and make sure that it was lined up nice and straight. Like so. Popped him off. That way I've got a template piece here too turned this around, stamped my image, uh, my, my message on like so. Let's just close that ink pad up so I don't get ink everywhere. I then laid this over this side, that way I knew how far to cut. And then used my scissors just to chop that off like so. So that piece will now, when it fits back in here, go in nicely and just make sure that he's lined up straight not all wonky like that and once you know he's well oops that's not in the middle get into the middle oh. there we go we can pop him off and we have our little saying and it's in the perfect spot so I have an extra one we know where that's going mum okay so let's just bring our little box in and we're going to pop some dimensions onto our um, oh, flowers. So let's pop dimensions onto all of these flowers. Let's move that out of the way so we don't need that into the picture anymore. So. I'm going to pop them here. I think three is enough, probably. Like so, and then I will put another couple of dimensions. Actually, I'm going to cut some of this edging to put on the back here. And pop my whoops my saying across the bottom of my box like so so I'll, I'll pop that flower on one side mum can have that one too so that's our little box for today I hope you've enjoyed it oh, I think it looks quite gorgeous what do you think and uh, here's my original one 
which I did with some other paper that is now retired as well. So I think they're great, great idea, and they make a really lovely little box to give to somebody with a nice little gift in it. I hope you've enjoyed today. If so, please give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any more. If you would like the written tutorial for this card, please head down to the link at the bottom for Dyes Den for Stamping, Crafting and Tutorials. That's my Facebook group page. And there you will find the written tutorial. I write my tutorials in inches with a um, centimetres on the side. So well, I have it in both the metric and the imperial measurements on them. So I hope to see you there. It's free to join. And I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.